Artificial intelligence, or AI, has undergone a remarkable evolution over the decades, propelling humanity into a new era of technological innovation and possibility. Let's take a journey through the different stages of AI development and the future of artificial intelligence. The first stage of AI is known as symbolic AI. Symbolic AI, also known as GoF AI, emerged in the 1950s and 1960s, focusing on representing knowledge in a structured, logical form. Researchers developed expert systems like ELISA, encoding knowledge as rules for problem solving. ELISA, created in the 1960s by Joseph Weizenbaum, was one of the earliest chatbots capable of engaging in simple natural language conversations. It used pattern matching and scripted responses to simulate conversation, providing a glimpse into the potential of AI for human-computer interaction. The second stage is known as Connectionism Neural Networks. In the 1980s, Connectionism provided an alternative approach inspired by the brain's neural networks. Artificial neural networks, composed of interconnected nodes, learn from data through adjusting connection weights. The perceptron, introduced by Frank Rosenblatt in 1957, was one of the earliest forms of neural networks. It consisted of a single layer of computational units capable of learning simple tasks. However, perceptrons were limited in their ability to solve complex problems. The third stage of AI is machine learning. Machine learning expanded the scope of AI in the late 20th century, emphasizing learning from data. Supervised learning algorithms make predictions from labeled examples, while unsupervised learning identifies patterns in unlabeled data. Decision trees, a popular supervised learning technique, are hierarchical structures that recursively partition the input space based on feature values to make predictions. They are intuitive and easy to interpret, making them suitable for tasks such as classification and regression. The fourth stage is deep learning. Deep learning, a subset of ML, experienced a resurgence in the 2010s, fueled by advances in computational power and large data sets. Deep neural networks with multiple layers demonstrated superior performance in tasks like image and speech recognition. Convolutional neural networks, CNNs, are specialized neural networks designed for processing grid-like data, such as images. They use convolutional layers to extract features and pooling layers to reduce spatial dimensions, enabling hierarchical feature learning. The current and fifth stage is narrow AI or weak AI. Narrow AI systems excel at specific tasks within well-defined domains, such as virtual assistants like Amazon Alexa and self-driving cars. Self-driving cars, powered by AI algorithms and sensors, navigate and operate vehicles autonomously, analyzing data from cameras, LiDAR, and radar to detect and respond to their environment. Companies like Tesla and Waymo are at the forefront of developing this technology. Now, let's continue with the future stages of AI starting with Artificial General Intelligence, or AGI. AGI represents the hypothetical attainment of human-level intelligence by AI systems. AGI would possess the ability to understand natural language, learn from experience, and exhibit creativity and problem-solving skills. Research in AGI focuses on developing AI systems capable of generalizing knowledge across domains, reasoning, and understanding context. Achieving AGI remains a long-term goal, requiring breakthroughs in areas such as unsupervised learning and common-sense reasoning. The final stage is Artificial Superintelligence. Artificial Superintelligence, or ASI, refers to AI systems that surpass human intelligence across all domains and tasks. An example of ASI can be found in fictional characters like Ultron from Avengers, raising profound questions about the implications for society and the future of humanity. I had strings, but now I'm free. ASI represents the theoretical endpoint of AI development, with capabilities far beyond human intelligence. Speculation about ASI raises concerns about control, ethics, and the potential for unintended consequences. Each stage of AI development represents significant progress, 
driven by advances in technology and interdisciplinary collaboration. While current AI applications predominantly fall within narrow AI, ongoing research aims to push the boundaries toward AGI and beyond. Do you think AI is a threat to humanity, or is it a great tool to improve everyday life? Let me know in the comments below. That is all for today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.